from KETK, you're watching East Texas Live. Welcome back to East Texas Live. Joining us now is Sylvia with Net Health, and she's here to talk about not waiting for your kids to go back to school and get their immunizations. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing awesome. Great. So, you know, why is it important for, you know, school-aged kids to have their updated immunizations yeah, I know before that word school? It's kind of hard to say. Yeah. That because what we want to do is to decrease the chances of vaccine-preventable diseases that could occur in the school system, you know, and we want to make sure that everybody is protected. So that's that's why we we're out we're here today. We want to encourage people to make sure you get updated with your immunizations. Yes, ma'am. You know, what are the required vaccinations needed based on a student's age? Well, like the 11 year olds, those who are going to the uh, seventh grade, they are required to have the Tdap uh, vaccine as well as the meningitis vaccine. And so we highly recommend also the uh, HPV vaccine, but those, that, that's the requirement. The other two are the requirement for those. And of course, they're going into school, the little kids, they have to have their, their uh, D-taps and their, uh, their uh, measles vaccine, their chickenpox vaccine, and hep A's, hep B's. And so we just want them to make sure that they're up to date with those that are required for them to have when they go back to school. Yes, ma'am. So why are y'all kind of urging parents to not wait until, you know, school time? <laughs> yes, because in August, the week before and the week of, uh, there are a lot of people coming in at that time. So they have long wait period because, you know, it, it just is because there's so many people. So that's why we're encouraging them to, to come now. Don't wait you know, until that time in August. Yes, ma'am. You know, so where will your immunizations department be providing community vaccine clinics? Yes, uh, we're going we're gonna to be starting with the uh, Love Thy City, uh, July the 20th. We'll be there from one to six, and we'll be uh, administering uh, back to school vaccination. So we want you to make sure that you attend that one. And we're also going to be at the School is Cool event, which is going to be on August the 1st. And it's from 4.30 to 7 p.m. And both of those will be at the W.T. Brookshire Center. And then we'll be at North Tenaha Church on uh, August the 3rd from 2 to 4 p.m. And that they can come and get them there. And then we're going to be at Greater Shiloh Baptist Church. And that's going to be August the 10th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. So they've got some opportunities to really get that done before August. Yes, ma'am. So why did you feel like it was so important to be at all these different events to, you know, give out those immunizations? We, we're taking it to them. <laughs> we, we're being available so they can't say that they didn't have the opportunity really before August to get that back to school. And they're going to have to have it. It's a requirement. So they have to have it in order to go to school. Yes, ma'am. Where can people get more information for all these? They can uh, contact us at the health district at 903-510-510. Uh, 5604 and we're located at 815 North Broadway. Yes ma'am. Well thank you so much for coming in and telling us all about that. Yes, yes. Take the opportunity. Take advantage of what we're going to be doing. Yes ma'am. For more information you can go to the website right here on your screen.